Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and sharing duties with me today, Stuart Robson. And gearing up to bring you live action from the Scottish Premiership. It is Motherwell and they face Rangers. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. And this is how the hosts will begin the game today. Well, on paper, it looks a fairly cautious approach because unless their wing-backs can get into more advanced areas, I'm not sure where the attacking width will come from. And here's the lineup for Rangers. Todd Cantwell plays alongside John Lundstrom in central midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. And so the battle commences. Kevin Van Veen. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. Well, they couldn't keep that sequence going, unfortunately. Sakala. Possession lost. Furlong. Casey. Kevin Van Veen. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Nicolas Raskin. Ryan Kent has it. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space, and it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. One nil then. Furlong. Kevin Van Veen. Now a decent position. And will it be the leveller? Well, the keeper had to concentrate. Favouring the short one. Corner once more. Yeah. 
Over it comes. Well, not cleared away completely. It's a perfect challenge. Well, Rangers haven't seen enough of the ball, as those stats tell us. But that won't bother them, because when they win it in deep areas, they've got forward with pace and with numbers. It's been a great counter-attacking display. Well read to win possession back. Alfredo Morelos in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. There wasn't much in that offside decision. Could have been in business. Casey. Under pressure. Doesn't seem to be bothering him. They're not giving the opposition. Can they square the game? And the challenge, crisp and clean. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. And this confrontation is underway. So back underway here into the second half. Kevin Van Veen. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Kent. In position here to protect the ball. Will he finish? Really classy goalkeeping. And time for the change now. Alfredo Morelos, tremendous challenge. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Well, disappointing end to the move. Alfredo Morelos. And it's Tavernier. Cantwell and snuffing out the danger can they hit on the break all at all a broken counter attack Kent Sakala real chance oh it's in a two goal cushion now and the lead fully merited. Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. So 2-0 now. 14, Ryan Kent. Furlong. 
Well, there you have it. The hosts have had so much of the possession, but they've shown a real lack of creativity today. They need to be far more inventive in the final third if they're to turn things around here. Alfredo Morelos. Lundstrom. Good looking sequence. Well, here it is again. The pass behind the defence is absolutely perfect. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Kevin Van Veen. Surely! And there it is! A goal! But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. Well, here's the replay, and that's the perfect outcome. Right into the corner and in off the post. That's a very good goal. No shortage of goals in this match. 3-1. So two minutes to be added on at the end. Connor Goldson. And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, Derek, they weren't at their best today, both as individuals and as a team. And they didn't deserve anything from the game. They need a much better display next time out. Well, it just seems that this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, he did everything today. His energy, skill and movement was just too good for those defenders. It was a really good display.